Hey, you two. It is your girl here, Tammy C. Walker, coming to you with a video. Look at me. I'm on camera. Hey, how you all doing? I am okay. I'm okay over here. The insomnia tried to creep back up on me. I hate to get on here and complain, but I like to just keep it real. That way you all really know me. As you know, I complain. Probably like, something always wrong with her. No, I just like to be honest with you all. But something uh, is on my mind. I got so many videos in my head. I got to get this stuff out. But before I go off on my little tangent, this is Dreams Are Reality. I created this channel for light and love. Shout out to Lady Kingsbury. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. This sweetheart is always on my channel. Just so supportive, so sweet, so kind. And I'm trying to shout out people. And Scully, if you're watching, he's another one. He's so sweet. And check out his channel as well. Scully does um, readings and music and poetry. And it's a unique, he's got a unique thing going. And I love to be special. I appreciate you all so much. I was just texting with my lovely niece who does my hair. By the way, her name is Sierra. And she is simply the best. Very sweet spirit, very kind, and also beautiful. She, she got it all. She got it all. That's just not fair, is it? But um, I was just telling her my channel is growing and just how happy I am, you know, over it. I've been working hard on this channel for years. And, you know, sometimes you just got to keep going at it. I know my production, uh, you know, I could get better, hire people to help me and spend more money. But sometimes it's about being just your authentic self, bringing information that others can enjoy and it'll grow naturally. It's kind of going in line with what I'm about to talk about. Before I get started, hit like, hit subscribe. But I was just sitting here thinking as I was working on another video, I'm like, okay, so the name of this video is going to be, maybe if I just stop, God will start. And I'm gonna tell you all why I'm saying that. It's like some personal stuff that I've been wrestling with trying to create an outcome and I don't I don't want I don't want myself out I'm tired I am tired so I just want to say that to you maybe you're kind of in a similar situation where you're trying to be patient and loving and kind in a relationship but you just want you wore yourself out and you like, it's like you on a treadmill, like my treadmill here, and I'm just going fast. Well, that's not a good example because treadmill, you need that hamster wheel. That's the best one. And you run it and you run it and you're going around that wheel, but nothing is changing. So isn't that like insanity? You're doing the same thing and getting the same results. And then you become just worn out and tired. And that's kind of where I am. So I have to always be honest with myself in my life with me. When I take my hands off the steering wheel, God, he comes in, you know, God, he know how to drive like way better than us. He can do that. You know how some cool people drive. That's how God drives. He don't need our little piddly little fingers meddling all in his stuff. And I think when you release that control and take your hands off, he'll usher in peace. He'll usher in solutions. He'll usher in knowledge and your path will become, you know, it will light up and you will begin to see through the darkness. Don't give me to preach. I'm not a preacher, but that's just how I feel. And I always talk about what I feel and how I feel and what helps me. So I have to release trying to make an outcome happen and let God do what he's going to do. It's tough though, because you're in your head. I'm always the type of person I want to be kind and gracious. And, you know, it's not even about that. It's just that nothing's happening, no movement. So maybe Tammy go at it a different way. I'm sorry I'm talking in riddles, but it's kind of like a relationship type thing. And I just feel like I'm, I'm doing too much. You know how they say, you're doing too much. You can do too much. And it creates this, you know, the scale, the Libra, the beautiful Libra sign. They're very balanced. If you know some Libras, most of them are just some smooth people. I love Libras, by the way. Um, I love all the Zodiacs, but some, you know, you just can pick up on this energy that some people have. But if you're doing everything, 
and that person is doing nothing, you, it's going to become depleted. And it's not always like to the negative. Because if I say that, people be like, leave it alone. What you trying to do for? It's not even that type of situation. So that's going to be another video I kind of want to do, like talking about the council culture and how people just throw people away. It's not even that type of thing. We have to remember just because there's a breakup or separation, it's not always, oh, he cheated. What he do? People get depressed, you all. People be going through the fire. Shaka Khan said through the fire. And when people are going through and they battling with an internal thing, or maybe they have a lot of stress on them, maybe some loved ones are ill, whatever their problem is, that takes you away from your relationship. Ladies, um, I'm sorry to brag, fellas, but we can balance things out. Hell, I don't start me. I go on a rant now. I've been through the storm. You know, I'd have had breast surgery, chemotherapy, radiation. I had to bury two parents, both of my parents. And I still was able to make it through. But I dare not get on him brag because when my dad died, I checked out. I was done. My dad had a massive heart attack. I was done. Like, whatever, don't talk to me. I'm depressed. I'm sad. And it took me, it took our, our family time to get over um, my dad's passing. He was the pillar of our family. He was the glue. He was our cook. He was our guy that barbecued on the grill. He pulled out the Christmas tree. He got the, um, the dye for the Easter eggs. That was an old school dad that believed in family and running the house in an orderly way, but with love. He was not perfect. No, he, the, the marriage was not perfect, but he created a very orderly home for me and my sisters. And that's the part that I cherish. And it just, it brought, it broke us up when he passed because there was dark blue. But um, maybe if I stop, God will start. I'm telling you all about the jobs. Man, I wanted to get out of this one job, all the jobs, all the jobs. And, and I'm just going hard. And you should, if you want to leave your job, you should apply. But when it becomes like you just anxious, I gotta get it out of there. I got to get out of there. And the next thing you notice, nobody's calling you because you got that desperate energy out. Or maybe you do get the interviews, you don't get hired. And it's still, it's tied to lack, the desperation. But maybe if I just stop, I'm going to keep applying. But after I apply, I'm just going to, you know, sit and chill out. That's when God going to get that steering wheel. There he go with that steering wheel again, the steering wheel of life, and he's going to direct your path. The job's going to start calling. The, the new job I have, I didn't even, I did apply in March, but this was something totally different. They, they called me, on, text me on something totally separate, and they went as smooth as butter. So you don't have to browbeat this guy that you want to be with or this lady that you want to be with or you want to get back together. Get your hands off of it. Be kind, be gracious. Hey, do you have to do the no contact stuff? You know, only you know the details. And sometimes we do have to like, you have to block. Let's not do that 20 some year old stuff. I'm blocking them, I'm blo everybody's blocking and canceling. You don't have to do all that, but sometimes you gotta pull back and say, you know what, Tammy? Girl, you just too cute. You need to take care of yourself. Go get you a massage go on the girls trip like I'm going on in Vegas I'm gonna see some Sonic you know go do stuff like that and take care of yourself and do your exercise and work on your brand new job your brand new career work on your YouTube channel take care of yourself the relationship piece is going to fall in line um I was talking to one of my cousins um <laughs> I just can't even say. Okay, but anyway, he was giving out um, advice on how to date. I, I'll be 52 years old. I've been dating since 15, 16. I'm good. I'm real good. Um, I don't need advice in that category. I, I'm easy to get along with. The, the fellas love me. The ladies love me. You know, not in a romantic well, I, mean, I don't know about that, but I'm just saying I get along easily with people. So I'm blessed to be able to just meet people easily so it's not it's not that like I, ladies y'all hear me out there and men we know how to meet people don't we it's not that it's just about timing it's about COVID's been here some of us have even been mingling it's about 
the space you're in, the space they're in, it's going to happen. So just stay positive, but just maybe if I stop, God is going to start. What about my ladies out here who want to start a family and they are going, you know, hard. They're in that bedroom, they're working it out and they're going to consult with their doctor. They're doing everything right and no baby. And they want that baby. Maybe if I stop, don't stop practicing. But if you stop stressing over it, the baby will come. How many times you all heard that? Somebody, a lady and her husband, lady and her partner, whatever, wanted a baby. The, they did the um, IVL. Please, I hope that's right. Ooh, I start messing up acronyms. I think it's IVL. Um, and they do that. And nothing, you know, it's a delay, delay. How are we just going to adopt? They go adopt their little baby girl or boy or twins or whatever. And here comes the lady. She pregnant. A few months later, she is pregnant. Be Why is she pregnant? Why is she pregnant, you all? Y'all know the answer. They took their hands off. They let God drive. They are adopting. They did adopt. But no longer stressing over getting pregnant. And then it naturally happens. See, that's what I'm saying. It's the same. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter having a baby, getting a new job, buying a house, starting a new relationship, rekindling your old relationship. It does not matter. Once I stop, God will jump in and start. And things are going to flow like butter. Butter on some movie popcorn. You know, that movie theater popcorn be good. That's how it's going to be. And trust and believe, I'm telling you what I do, what I know. And when I get on here on this camera, do not think like she thinks she got it going on. She's so perfect. She thinks she's perfect. She's so smart <laughs> at all, <laughs> at all. I'm literally going, I go to therapy on every other week. I'm going this week to talk, and I don't go, but I go on video and talk to my lady. So I'm showing you, I'm doing the work on me. The struggles you have, I done had. The struggles you have, I have. So. It's not even about, you know, me being so this and that, but I'm just sharing the knowledge, sharing from my hiccups, sharing from my struggles. And when I get these things that pop in my head, I know it's God saying, jump on here and tell the people, once you stop, God going to start driving that car the smooth way, the smooth way. He's not going to be hitting no bumps. He's not going to be unsure. God is the real deal. He's for sure. And he knows what's best for us. He's way ahead of us, way ahead. You trying to do something, he like, girl, bye. Now, girl, are you tired yet? When are you going to stop? When will you stop making a mess of things? I got you. I got you. I got this. He already knows where we need to be. He knows who we are. He knows who we need to be with. He knows what we need. He knows what we don't need. He's protecting us. Rejection is protection. Delay is not denied. He is here standing in the gap, waiting on us to just stop it. And sometimes, you know, like me, I always feel like oh, I'm not controlling because my disposition is very laid back and sweet and caring. And oh, I'm not controlling. I'm controlling as heck. Yes, I am. And I, I, I don't know what that is sometimes. But I am controlling because I like things done a certain way. There I go. And um, I do everything on my own. So I'm in control. So that's control. Um, fear. So maybe that's not going to go right. I'm going to be embarrassed. Like I'm working on something with my school and I'm supposed to be taking the girls um, to a paint and sip thing towards um, the top of May. Nothing's been paid. I'm scared the dang gone bus not going to come. The school haven't approved it. I'm like, Lord, today. In my mind, this, this trip may not go through. And so I want to control it, but I truly can't. But what I can do is have a backup plan. If it gets scrapped, we're just going to have a big old party. Have some pizza and food, some games, and keep it moving. And, it's, it's, you know, I can't make the school approve this trip, but I can do a plan B. So... I hope something I said helped you. I just wanted to share that about, you know, trying to take over the spirit of taking over. And just maybe, just maybe if I stop, 
then that's when God going to start. And once he starts, it's all good. You can't go wrong. Tammy Sharice Walker, drop me comments if you know what I mean. If you done took over the wheel of life and made a mess of things and, and had to, you know, step back and release control. And then it all flowed just fine. All righty, you all. I love you all so much. Thank you for all your sweet comments, your likes, your love. Um, I'm so grateful and humble over this channel. I know people are like, girl, you only got 300 some subscribers if I have one. It's a blessing. And that's, you know, that's what it's all about, being grateful. And you never know, the sky's the limit, right? I got to take my hands off of this channel within reason and just let it do what it's going to do. That's, those are words from my friend. Just let it do what I'm going to do, Tam. I love it. I love that. Okay, you guys, I'm out of here. You guys and, and ladies, take care. Bye-bye.